Welcome everybody to the post-match press conference for Tonga. We have the coach Totai Kefu and the captain Ben Tamaifuna, who would like to start us off with a first question this evening. Yep. Hi, hi Totai. Um, congratulations for this game. Um, first of all, you've been the first team to score three tries to South Africa. Uh, what does it mean to me? It's been a long time since it's happened. So, what does it represent for your team? Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, that that's nice. That's good. Uh, I would have rather the result better. Um, look, um, you know, we're we're always just going to judge ourselves on our performance today. And I thought the boys had a real dig, and um, we just. Mentioned to the group before the game, you know, put a put a performance out there that um, when you come off the field, you're absolutely proud of, your family are proud of, your village are proud of, regardless of the score. Um, and I think they did that. Thank you, Yander Kuning. Um to the captain, uh, it was quite physical out there. Um, the, obviously, there's some sore bodies on both sides. <laughs> um, talk to us about that approach of really taking it to the spring box like that. I mean, th th it seemed to unsettle them at times. Well, yeah, 100%. I thought, um, you know, that the spring box are obviously known for their physicality. And, you know, for us, we just had to bar up and meet fire with fire because. If, uh, if we didn't, you know, easy points could, um, the score could have been bigger. But I'm still proud of the boys, you know, we, they boys dug deep, um, held them out for a long passage of uh, periods there. And uh, yeah, definitely there's going to be a few sore bodies tomorrow, i tell you that. Uh, as a follow up, I mean, we, we see Ireland do, do it um, and take it to them like that. Um, is that the way to beat the Springboks, just st stand up to them physically? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, personally, I think, yeah, the, the way you got to meet, um, you know, got to meet them on the line, um, you know, they, they tend to run straight and hard and try and beat, beat, beat people up around, around, the, around the ruck area. And um, like I said, we, we matched up well, but just obviously not long, long enough periods there to, to hold them up. I mean, you haven't, you know, by rugby, I was in Serbia. You guys hit it around the neck on a few occasions. In your opinion, what made the difference? Sorry, I repeat it. What made the difference? You had, it, you had them around the neck. Oh. Yeah, so what, in your opinion, what made the difference tonight? Um, the difference, I think, was uh, obviously the, they've been to those kind of times and uh, places and, and games um, where, um, where it goes to those pressure moments. And um, like I said before, the other teams, we, we, ha we haven't been exposed enough to that kind of uh, pressure moments. And, and top, we've never been pushed to those kind of limits, so I think it's a good experience for our boys. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you know, maybe next week we can uh, build a, build on what we've put out there today. Uh, ben, um, you spoke about uh, in your Sorry, press man. conference of this. Uh, you spoke about being competitive but not lasting long enough in games. Um, this evening, you guys went the, the full way. You kept the Springboks honest all the way. What was that about? Was it about game management on the field? Did you guys do anything different in training? Because you definitely gave it to them till the end this time. Around. Yeah, just like Coach said, um, you know, we've, we, we had to bar up. We had to, we had to put a performance out there that, that we come off and say, wow, I actually put you know, everything out there. And um, like we, we don't want to go back on Monday and our reviews and say, we should have, could have. Um, it's too late. Uh, so we had to put it out there, and it, it obviously it took up to the 80th minute. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm proud of the boys, proud of the management, proud of everyone, and all the fans that came out tonight as well. It was pretty awesome to be out there. Yeah, Simon Valzer, Media Olympic. A question for Tao Tai. Um, you said that uh, your your team improved on the two first games. Uh, do you have the feeling that tonight your your team improved again? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're tracking in the right way, which means we'll have our best game next week, 
and then the tour's over. So um, it happens every campaign. You know, we go on three, four-week campaigns. It's always the last game's always our best game just because we've had more time together. We've played some opposition, so... Um, and then it's the tour's over. So, yeah, next week, hopefully, um, um, you know, we can we can get a win. Um, but, you know, I think if we can play really our best to our best, I think we can get a really good result. Uh, to Ty. Uh, after about 17 minutes, the tackle counter had 60 by the Springboks, 5 by Tonga. Um, Yet the score was 7-3. Do, do you, I mean, that shows how much dominance you had. Is that the period where you probably lost the chance to turn the screw completely? Yeah, we dominated territory and possession. We just probably um, probably needed a little bit more um, in our attack. Um, I think I, uh, we slowed the game down really well. I think there was a couple of moments there where we had the ball... Um, especially against their line with just a pick and go. I think we probably needed to vary it, our attack a little bit more. Um, at, at the moment, I thought it was probably too forward dominated. Um, we got some slick backs. We probably should have. And we talked about it at half time. You know, if we had any one on ones out wide, we'd, we'd use the width. Um, here at the back. Um, here we are talking about another great performance from a, a so called tier two nation that ends in defeat, and you were talking about how just as you gain momentum, the tour is over. I mean, what appeal would you have to World Rugby? What would you like to see to uh, happen in our, you know, the sports ecosystem? Yeah, look, I think we just, we, we've got the talent now. Um, the legibility rules open that door open for us. So I think we need time to really blend. Um, I think I've mentioned it before. I've got players coming from... 20 plus programs. I, I think Ireland's got players coming, 90% of their players come from one program. Um, New Zealand, they come from five or six programs. We, I've got players coming from 20 plus. A third of my group play in France, a third play in the UK, the other third are in New Zealand. I've got a couple in Japan. So just, it makes sense. It's going to take longer for us to, 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 to get on the same page. Um, I mean, if you look at today, like we, there was three or four turnovers that led straight to tries, their tries. Um, you know, spending more time together, you know, they're tier two mistakes. Spending more time together will fix that up, I believe. Getting regular competition will fix that up. Um. Now, obviously, one of the things you said is we're coming to the final match of um, your pool stages and the final match of the campaign. Um, and this is when you're really going to kick into gear. What is it that you guys would do moving forward to make sure that you're kicking into gear in that first game as opposed to the fourth one? Oh, look, we won't change anything. I think the natural progression is um, we're, we're going to be a lot better in terms of our decision-making. I think we're going to be a lot better in terms of our skills, both under pressure. Um, I think um, just the more time we spend together, and I think with Romania, with no disrespect to Romania, but they're probably not going to be as good as Ireland, Scotland and South Africa. Um, so I think if we, can play, if we can play anywhere near what we did today, um, I think we could probably get a good result. But, um, like I said, there was four, four crucial turnovers that led to tries. That's, that's something that we need to, need to fix up. The first game against Ireland was we had 30-plus turnovers. So um, that's a big area of our game that we need to, need to fix. Any other questions? No? Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. We'll have South Africa shortly. <laughs> <laughs>